Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family again. We've got a winter storm coming in. This is gonna be our first winter storm since installing our panels here back in late June, 2020. There's a winter storm watch up and the forecast is calling for somewhere between two and six inches of snow, maybe some sleet and even some freezing rain mixed in there. So I wanna show you how my panels are gonna perform during a winter storm. All right, I'll check back in once the snow starts flying. All right guys, the temperature is 30 degrees and our winter storm has started. About an hour ago, we started to get a couple little flurries and now the flakes are flying. We've got some pretty big snowflakes here. So far, starting off as a pretty wet snow, but you can see behind me, the panels are covered. The only thing that's showing up here is really the grid in between the panels, uh, but we do have an accumulation of snow already starting on the panels and we are expecting upwards of one to three inches of snowfall here at my house through the day today. There is a winter weather advisory in effect for today and tonight. So we're expecting this snowfall to continue into the afternoon hours, one to three inches. We'll start to probably mix with some sleet and then eventually change over to freezing rain before turning back to snow overnight. So definitely looking at a wintry mix here falling on the panels and I'll be tracking it here with my Tesla app you can see even here that recently we've been able to produce up to 200 watts of solar. So definitely nothing incredible, but we are able to produce some solar right now, even with a thin coating of snow on the panels. All right, guys, it's been about three hours. We've had some light to moderate snowfall here at the house, and now we've got some sleet mixing in. You can actually hear the sleet falling through the trees behind the house. The mixing of the sleets is going to cut down on our storm total snow accumulation. I've got a snowboard here. Let's measure what we've seen so far here. We've had about an inch and a half of fluffy snow and now we're getting sleet falling on top of that. I'm gonna run around to the front of the house and take a look at the panels. All right, guys, we're back around the front of the house here, and you can see the panels are just about covered here with that inch and a half of snowfall. And now we're getting sleet to fall on top of them. Taking a look at the Tesla app here, as you might expect, solar production has been shut down by the snow here. Take a look at this. We have zero production going on. We're pulling everything from the grid, about 600 watts right now, going straight to the house, no solar production. I'll check back in again through the remainder of the event. All right guys, it's about two hours later and we've now changed over to freezing rain. We went from snow to sleet to freezing rain and I'm expecting that later tonight, as colder air comes back in, that we'll turn back over to snow. But for now, look at the panels. The panels are cleared off thanks to the freezing rain. Although freezing rain accumulation can bring power outages and hazardous travel. But for me here, the rain was able to clear off the panels. Uh, we still, however, do not have any solar production. We are toward the end of the day. It's almost 4.30, and even if it was clear out right now, the sun would be just about down to the horizon anyways. Here's a look at the radar. You can see that our location there with the blue cross here is firmly within this red area, meaning freezing rain, although it's still snowing not too far up to the northwest and actually just plain rain down to the southeast. So we're right here in the transition zone between heavy snow and heavy rain where there is a good bit of ice going on right now and taking a look at the tesla app you can see we do not have any solar production here we're pulling completely from the grid again i think it's mainly because we're overcast skies and the sun is nearly set here even though it's good to know that the panels are cleared off we'll have to see later on tonight how much snow we pick up uh, when the cold air comes back in and then We'll see what happens tomorrow. Are we able to produce any solar energy at all for today? We were capped off at just 400 watt hours. All right guys, it's the day after the storm and you can probably hear the neighbors here cleaning up afterwards. 
Uh, late last night, we did change back over to a little bit of snow before ending right around midnight. And then everything dried out toward the early morning hours and temperatures fell into the mid 20s. We actually had sunshine around this morning, but it took a few hours for the panels to start showing some production. And that is likely due to a little bit of extra snow that the panels picked up overnight. Once that snow melted off here with the bright sunshine, we were able to sharply increase our production. Well, you can see here as of 3.30, we're up to just over 11 kilowatt hours for the day. So not too bad considering that we did start the day with a bit of snow on the panels. It's right around three o'clock and temperatures are in the mid 30s. So still rather cold outside. This overall was a relatively minor snowfall event. We only picked up a few inches of snow. We'd like to shoot another video for a more significant winter storm event just to see how the panels perform with some significant snowfall on them even the following day after so if we have bright sunshine and all day the snow lingers on the panels because there's a significant depth on the panels that would be interesting just to see if we don't get any production at all even under a full sunny sky well that about wraps it up here for our first tesla solar snowfall video i hope you like this one and Click that subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment if you like this content and you want to continue to see it. Really helps out the channel. Nearly 90% of you guys out there who are viewing this aren't subscribed and it really does help me out to get those subscriptions up so that I can bring you even better content. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to Tesla Family Channel here on YouTube. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you soon. Check out all of our other videos as well. Also, follow us on Twitter at Tesla Family Chan. Use my referral code to buy a new Tesla and you will get 1,000 free supercharging miles. Or if you use my referral code to buy Tesla solar roof or solar panels, you'll get a $100 reward after system activation.